Okay, I just literally did like the best podcast ever, but I just wanted to share with you guys what we were talking about. So I was talking about when you are trying to build your business, but you're still an employee and you're still struggling with that employee mindset to being an entrepreneur, right? Because they're two different things. Like at work, someone is telling you what you can or can't do, who you are, right? The title on your badge, what your limits are, what your restrictions are, how much you can earn, the things you can or cannot say, all of this stuff. And if you've never been an entrepreneur before, how do you suddenly change that? Because you need to change that in order to be a successful entrepreneur and build the business that you want to build and live a life that you want to live. You have to switch that mindset from being an employee to a CEO. You are the boss. You get to make up the rules. You do not need to put yourself in a box. You do not need to cage yourself in. You get to be the boss. And the the most important thing that I think we covered in this podcast for me was about feeling confident that you're ready, right? Feeling confident that you're enough. Just because you have a day job doesn't mean you can't still help people. Doesn't mean you can't still know what you're talking about. Doesn't mean you can't still start to build yourself as an authority, okay? This is about owning your story, owning your journey, owning your experience, and knowing that that is enough. You do not need an extra certification. You don't need extra credentials. You don't need extra testimonials in order to give you validation that that is enough for you because it is enough. You have had the best experience that money can't buy. You've lived it. You've come through it. You've navigated it. You've grown from it. That is the person that you can help. The person who is still trapped in that, who is still trying to fumble their way through that. You're here. You can help them with that gap. That doesn't mean that you aren't still growing and you aren't still getting to your next level, but you're not helping them, you're helping them. That person you can help. Doesn't matter that you have a day job, who cares? 99.9% of entrepreneurs have a day job when they first start. And actually they're the ones that become the most successful, right? Because they're not starting in desperation. They're not starting with their back against the walls feeling like, fuck, I need to make money now. They're like, it's cool. I got this, I'm gonna build this whilst my money's coming in, my bills are paid for, I'm gonna do this right. I'm gonna do this in the energy of abundance. I'm gonna do this in the energy of magnetism. I'm gonna do this in the energy of knowing this is my purpose. Time's an illusion anyway, right? So who cares how long it takes? Because ultimately it's in the action, it's in the doing, it's in the becoming that you get to change that timeline, that you get to change that ecology around you, that you get to suddenly quantum jump and be like, I did it. I did it. So my message to you is to know that your journey is enough. Just because you still have a day job, just because you still work for someone else, even if it's freelancing, taking the old thing here and there just to bring in some money, doesn't invalidate your experience, doesn't invalidate the benefit that you can bring to people, doesn't invalidate the help that you can give to people. You can still start building your brand. You can still start becoming the authority. You can still start to step into that thought leader role. You just have to own it. You have to know in your heart and your soul that you are enough, that your journey is enough, that your story is enough. Okay, if you want to listen to the full episode, go ahead to my links.